dissolves the clay and the fine particles and goes through the cracks of the, of the, of the dirt and the clay layers that are here. And animals in a dry period kind of create their holes in it too. So it's a combination of water going through and dissolving the dirt underground. And um, a lot of fine particles in New Mexico have salts attached to them because this used to be an inner sea millions of years ago. And still there is a higher level of salt deposits in New Mexico, in, in, in this area of New Mexico, as a result of that. And that salt dissolves also so that these particles can no longer cling together because these particles with salt actually um, hold more water and that together forms kind of a glue, almost like the caliche in the ground. But once that salt dissolves, and all these fine particles dissolve to take the blow away or dissolve in the water. And then you get major tunnels underground that's called piping or tunnel erosion. And so that comes out here somewhere. Yes. So these holes that you see there is the outflow of this. So it's a very complex um, form of degradation because it has to do, first of all, with standing water. There's water that cannot go anywhere, and it's again as a result of this berm. And then of course it's related to the soil, but we cannot change the soil very much. So the only thing we can change is the fact that this water doesn't move. It's kind of ponds here, and then it starts dissolving that specific soil that we have. We cannot do much about the animals because they just live here. So what we actually need to do here, even here also, is just get this berm removed so that this water can drain and doesn't go underground and create these tunnels.